Capcom, or as the internet likes to call them, Crapcom. Game teases spiders in the opening sequence, yet they're never actually seen in the game. And no, those mutated Jawavo don't count as spiders. The six in this intro looks like a giraffe is getting head from an embryo. Go up. Helena Harper replaces Claire Redfield. Piers Nivens replaces Sheva Alomar, effectively making Chris's campaign a complete sausage fest. And no, just to be clear, we got nothing against gays. It's just that we like balance. Plotting exposition begins with a scene that actually takes place in the middle of the game, cliche. Game insults the player by holding their hand and telling them where to go. Wrestling moves. Well, this isn't ridiculous at all. Shit! Hold on! Did I accidentally buy a Die Hard game? Stare at where you are! Really, Leon? After everything you've been through, you're still gonna wait for a zombie to attack you before you shoot it? Tolok's Cathedral. I'll explain everything there, Agent Kennedy. How do you know my name? How do you two know each other? That's Helena Harper. She's been with the Secret Service since last year. I know they're called the Secret Service, but damn. An entire year and they don't even at least brief Leon on the fact that Helena is a fellow agent? The virus has already spread three miles past the campus perimeter, and it's not slowing down. You need to hurry. Not before we check out Talok's Cathedral. Helena Harper is an insensitive bitch. There's a whole new virus spreading throughout the country, and all she wants to do is go to church. So what's so special about this church? You have some sins to confess? No, but I know this game is going to have a lot of sins to confess. You're going to tell me everything once we get to the cathedral. Deal? And if she doesn't tell you, you're going to do what? Come on, Leon. Women are your kryptonite, remember? This deer head isn't laughing. <laughs> hmm. I wonder for whom that bell tolls for. Wait, so is this Hogwarts? The object getting knocked down for cheap thrills cliche. Are you alright? Clearly infected man and yet Leon still has to question whether he's alright. Liz. Is that your daughter? Come on, Leon, he just told you that she was his daughter. My daughter! She's all alone! Our nation's future can't be the youth of America, because by the time the future arrives, they won't be youths anymore. <laughs> Cheap thrills that substitute legitimate horror. Uh, did these two people die while they were blowing each other? Ah, so we do have electricity. Well, how come the elevator didn't work earlier? The power's out. Leon just stands here and watches these guys cry for help, but only decides to make a move once it's already too late. Let's go. Leon, it's too late. Shoddy camera movement. Jeez, if you're gonna have the camera this close, you might as well make it a first-person shooter. I've got a bad feeling about this. I've got a bad feeling, cliche. Stupid AI. Wait. Not now. This way. Not now. Fall back. Not now. <laughs> The alarm that's gonna set off and attract the zombies cliche. The obvious keys that are hidden above the visor cliche. Scene does not contain a makeout session. Down in the sewers and no spiders to be found. Leon, Elena, we'll be out of contact when you're in there. And yet you still have reception in the sewers. Aw, oh, look at them textures. The stupid civilian who puts our protagonists in danger, cliche. Oh look, no bite marks. Random vehicle crash number one. Random vehicle crash number two. This horrendously animated news station. Transmission was received from the vessel before its disappearance. Yashichi? This guy doesn't even look infected. This asshole. This guy's gun jams and is in a gun shop filled with SMGs, pistols, shotguns, and rifles. Yet decides to grab his girlfriend's pistol instead. Honey Boo Boo Zombies. Mission objectives that point out the obvious. 
Uh, no. Physics say that these two should have died right there and then. There's a secret door by the altar that leads underground. If you know about the door, then it's not a secret. There's more here than meets the eye. The Transformers, more than meets the eye. Toll the five bells loud and clear, and thus the true path shall appear. Simple riddles. Scripted boss battles. I wish I believed God were looking out for us right now. But I think we're on our own. That's because God doesn't exist. Capcom further insults the player by presenting an embarrassingly easy puzzle. Nice security system. You just have to punch in the numbers on the doors. VHS? Why does everything have to be complicated? Why do you have to be complicated? Enough with the mystery. What the hell is going on here? Let's just get her out of here. You take care of her. Leave any hostiles to me. Another way you can tell this game sold its soul is that Leon refers to the zombies as hostiles instead of just zombies. Holy crap, did Ada Wong get plastic surgery? What the hell is going on here? It's complicated. Ada uses Facebook relationship status to describe their current situation. Here. A ring? Don't get the wrong idea. It'll make sense later. Well, f*** you, Capcom. Thanks for ruining my dream of seeing Leon and Ada getting married one day. Just stop it, Debra! This isn't you! Oh, really? What gave it away? Groundbreaking video game series rips off the minecart chase sequence from Temple of Doom. We're up against the people who really run this country. Who, the Illuminati? Shadaloo? The lizard people? Zombies that jump? Are you f***ing kidding me? Helena is literally in the jaws of the shark and she's not being ripped to shreds? Plus, how in the hell do they manage to hold their breath this long through all that chaos? Quick time events. Seriously? You couldn't just swim underneath the gate? Ah, the old barrel that blows up the shark cliché. Is this seriously the only way we know how to kill sharks in video games? He's sterilizing the area. And destroying the evidence. Man, Simmons is stupid. We find out later that he plotted to have the president killed because he was going to disclose the truth behind the Raccoon City incident to the public. Yet he's causing the bombing of this area and somehow thinks that's not going to attract the attention of the media. Capcom further insults Claire Ridfield fans by having Helena dress in very similar clothes. Ah, I see that we're breaking the law of physics. Again. More quick time events. Now where the f*** did this asshole come from? This close in this shot? This close in the next? Thank you, Fruit. Epic showdown between Chris and Leon only lasts for several seconds. These agents can't hit a target. Are you here to avenge the president? Is that it? You fool. Had he disclosed the truth behind Raccoon City, the U.S. would have lost all its authority, and the global political order would have collapsed. So to avoid one possible disaster, you create another? No matter how many people die- He had to be stopped! So why didn't you just assassinate him the conventional way, like everyone else? I mean, was another viral outbreak really the smartest way to go? No. The answer is no. Bullet time. Is it over? Yeah. It's over. Characters say it's over when it's really not cliche. What is that? It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! Oh shit! Well, the virus was on a roll a minute ago, but now it wants to take its sweet old time spreading. Where did all the ash come from? Probably from a missile. No. It came from Dante's Peak. Dawn of the Dead inferiority music. This is as far as I can get you. And apparently, for the purposes of this game, it's also as far as the fog will spread. Continuity fail. Did we mention that this is basically a ripoff of Independence Day? Yeah, I think we did. Still. We're still gonna count it as another sin. 
Oh yeah, I'm not going to crash this helicopter at all while I'm protecting Helena and not paying attention to my maneuvering. There is no light source that can be making this shadow. You see, it's not coming from this light because it's shining directly below. And it's not coming from here because it's just a reflection of a light that should be above it. So, composition fail. More continuity fail. So, am I playing Jurassic Park now? Well, I guess I am playing Jurassic Park. Also, turret cliche. T-Rex cartwheel? She's more than just a friend, isn't she? You, you got what I need, but you say he's just a friend. Are they seriously just climbing up a still rope at this height? Come on, Leon. Catch up. I always get stuck with the bossy Shit! Oh, gee, Leon, I wonder why that is. Couldn't possibly have anything to do with the fact that you let them walk all over you. Leon doesn't get injured by this barrage of projectiles. Wait, so they actually have each other's numbers? Brando fly. Super Brando fly. Head for the chopper! Get to the chopper! Fatality. Get. The. F*** out of here. Plus, wasn't the Umbrella reference already seen earlier in the game? That's for my sister. What about all the other people he murdered, you selfish bitch? What? But I assisted in the attack. The Investigating Commission have reviewed the evidence and feel it unjust to hold you liable for Simmons' crime. They will also not be disclosing their findings to the public. Well, this isn't contradictory at all. First we let Helena get off easily, even though she assisted with the outbreak. But then we're going to keep this incident secret from the public, which is the same thing that Simmons wanted to do with the truth behind the Raccoon City incident. Yet we killed him because... Listen, sweetheart. You're here to pour drinks and look pretty. So how about you shut your mouth? Chris Redfield is sexist. The BSAA has arrived on the scene. Chinese reporters, in China no less, reporting in English. This Juavo is able to regenerate its head, which was blown off, but is killed when Chris performs a neck breaker. Inability to change the camera here. I'm still trying to wrap my head around what I'm seeing here. Really, Chris? After everything you've been through, this should just be another day of work for you. Is he always this awesome? Actually, he is. Except, of course, when he's going through roid rage. How many of our men are dead because of that bitch? Did we mention how bipolar this cover system is? Sherry Birkin, you were in Raccoon City. How do you know that? Claire. Wait, are you Chris? My sister's told me all about you. More references to Claire, yet she's not in the game. He's no threat to the BSAA. Unless someone pays me to be. What did you just say? Piers and Jake pissing contest. Game cliche number 14. A group of dumb bastards who, instead of running or shooting, stand and gawk at the giant monster alien B.O.W. thing. Well, you jarheads all look the same to me, pal. Sorry. You've got to be kidding me. What? You mad, bro? Obvious trap, but they still fall for it. My name's Ada Wong. They held me hostage. C-Virus. 17 years of Resident Evil canon and Chris somehow doesn't know of or hasn't heard of Ada Wong by now. We found one of the staff. We're turning to the foyer now. Chris Redfield doesn't know how to pronounce foyer. Everyone get to the second floor! The foyer's too dangerous! Random soldier doesn't know how to pronounce foyer. The woman, she's gone. Finn! I, I don't know what happened. She was here a second ago. Actually, she wasn't. She was gone long before the sequence even started. See? These needles manage to avoid passing through these wide open bars and penetrating Chris and Piers. For the sake of this game's pacing and plot, Finn manages to mutate into a full grown B.O.W. within mere seconds. I know Chris is badass and all, but he should have easily been killed by this onslaught of attacks. Penis Flamethrower Save a horse, ride a panda Grasshopper Juavo This overpowered chopper Insert Black Hawk Down joke here 
Damn it! Why would this thing show itself? Damn it, why isn't the enemy throwing itself to us on a silver platter? I'm not gonna rest until we have her head on a stick. Oh, okay, whatever you say, Bateman. And what the other part of him think? <laughs> what her head would look like on a stick. Wait! We've got no choice, we have to kill him! Hmm, I guess Chris forgot what happened when Finn mutated. What happened to the legendary Chris Redfield, huh? What happened to you? It's a good thing Finn's not around to see you this way. This would have made for a bigger emotional impact and make me care about the game more if Pierce said, It's a good thing Jill isn't around to see you this way. Ada's just playing with you. When are you gonna realize that? I'm not stupid enough to fall for her bullshit. Yeah, you are. <sighs> Wanted to see her dead earlier, but now you won't even wound her. I know the showdown is necessary and all, but how did Chris, nor Pierce for that matter, notice Leon out of their peripheral vision before his attack? So, what is this now? Resident Evil? Twisted Metal 6? Are these assholes really unable to hit us at this range? Oh no, it's Resident Evil. Need for speed. Deja vu, boys. Raccoon revisited. But this time, it won't just be one city. It'll be the whole world. Why do I feel like I've heard this before? Every day, humans come one step closer to self-destruction. I'm not destroying the world. I'm saving it. Oh, it's because I have. This briefcase doesn't have a safety lock. Groundbreaking video game series rips off the face hugger from Alien. Jeez, are we playing Ace Combat now? I know it's for the sake of the game, but why would these assholes give us four minutes before launching the missile? A truly diabolical villain leaves no room for error. There's irony for you. A man who spent his entire life trying to destroy the world, and now his son is the only one who could save it. And here I am coming to rescue him. The man who killed his father. Like I said, irony. I don't know. Maybe it's fate. Nope. Piers is right. It's irony. It's about time someone took my place. I'd be honored if it was you. I... I don't think I'm ready for that. You made it this far, haven't you? Not so subtle foreshadowing. Infection spreads throughout the entire Eastern Hemisphere within seconds. If it ever comes down to you and me, it'll be me, got it? Uh, very doubtful. If Chris can kill Wesker, who is superior to you in every way, then you don't stand a chance. Another example of game cliche number 14. And somehow it isn't constricting Piers or Chris to death. Warning. The self-destruct system has been activated. All personnel evacuate immediately. Aww, and I was just starting to like Piers. Groundbreaking video game series rips off the ending of Bioshock. Carrots and steak. Leon's alternate costume in Mercenaries mode isn't Dante's costume from Devil May Cry 2. Sherry's schoolgirl uniform is not available in the main campaign. Agent isn't hunk. Big Daddy. Non-existent cubicle phone technology. Ada isn't wearing her signature red dress. I love Ada and all, but this grapple gun gimmick is basically a ripoff of Batman in Arkham Asylum. This is the only real puzzle in the entire game. Ada climbs up the ladders, even though she has a grapple gun. Stupid questionnaire needed to advance the level. How do you plan to atone for your crime? These acrobatic moves cannot be performed in actual combat. Alright, ready or not, here I come. Hmm. Didn't know we were playing hide-and-go-seek. Money shot! Aw, we meet again. Aberration detected. Aberration detected? So the game is basically dictating how you play it now? VHS again. Alpha to HQ. We got a visual on Ada Wong. We're in pursuit. Convenient radio transmission to advance the plot device. Hmm, I guess this is that zombie express Leon was talking about. Could be better.
Yeah, there's totally just going to be an open door on this tanker. No security lock on this case either. Yes! 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 Unreal! I don't need help from anyone! Oh hey, it's the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Hell will rise! And chaos will reign! Carla adopts the mad scientist who wants to destroy the world cliche. Genesis is at hand, and I will be the creator. You're on your own now, you two. Ada says this, and not ten minutes later is back to help them with Simmons. <laughs> Ada inadvertently perfectly describes this game. This tedious boss battle. Okay, last item on the list. Eliminate all traces of the theft of my identity. Now, why would you eliminate traces of your identity theft? Wouldn't you want to keep that evidence to prove your innocence just in case you were ever caught and charged with bioterrorism? Seeing as how Simmons was the overseer of Carla's transformation to Ada Wong, he should be able to recognize his own creation and the fact that he's talking to the real Ada Wong and not Carla. Ada's not giving Leon a BJ in this sequence. I mean, come on, just look at the position of her head. We're beyond sympathy at this point. We're beyond humanity. And yet you act like you're on your period when you destroy this lab, revealing your most emotional scene to date. This is Ada Wong, people. Ada Wong doesn't show emotion. <laughs> this Juava was a dick to apples. The U.S. National Security believes it's a good idea to send a pretty blonde white girl on a solo mission to apprehend the son of Albert Wesker in a remote part of the world where a civil war is breaking out and expect her to survive. I mean, she does survive, but we're still calling it a sin. Right now, we're racing against a global bioterrorist attack and we needed a vaccine yesterday! So, I'm guessing you and your superiors don't understand the concept of deadlines and contingency plans? You know, always plan ahead and prepare for the worst. Fifty million dollars. What? Cash. Non-negotiable. Jake doesn't ask for a higher ransom. More wrestling moves. Begin Uncharted sequence... now. Oh, what the hell? Not one of those roided out freaks, you morons! It's a waste of time! Yeah, no shit! This is exactly what most players said when they've reached this point in the game. Haha. <laughs> Nemesis, you are not. More mission objectives that point out the obvious. You know, just in case you wanted to stand there like an idiot and get mauled. Creepy mannequins. Ah, deja vu. Mr. Mueller is requesting compensation for his cooperation. Fifty million dollars. In cash. You forgot to mention that. Yes. We have a deal. <laughs> well, that was easy. That was easy. You are terminated. More turret cliches. What do I do? Pull it out. Said no straight woman ever. The data's gone. What data? Your data. Your blood analysis. Your genome everything that we need to make a vaccine. Now why exactly do you need the data on Jake when you have Jake? So this data you need to find, it's about me, isn't it? She just told you that, dumbass. Okay, one more to go. I bet you'll be a real pain in the ass to find. Oh yeah, it's going to be really hard to find because the screen is literally telling us where it's at. Snowmobiles. Uh, I'll go get help. It can't be that much further to the rendezvous. Oh, wait! Wait! 
Sherry's Blonde moment. The people who saved me, Leon and Claire, are the closest friends I've ever had. Claire is that a BSAA guy's sister? More references to Claire, and yet she's not in the game. Boy, Capcom really likes sticking it to Claire Redfield fans. Ustinek all of a sudden needs these bats to detect anyone, even though he's seen and heard perfectly fine before. Jake is a woman beater. Not so tough now, are you? Jake and Sherry aren't even remotely scared of Ustinek. I mean, Sherry I can understand because she's been through this kind of stuff before, but still. It's not every day you get a murderous, indestructible, monstrous B.O.W. that wants you dead chasing you relentlessly. Once we get out there, I'll radio for pickup. My team should be close by. Ah, uh, so you actually did have a team. And where have they been this entire time? These Juavo can't hit a target. Whoa, talk about being bitch slapped. How does that not kill her again? Wesker's son or not, that punch should have killed him. Jake! <clears throat> Jake acting like he's never seen a pair of tits before. Scene does not contain a lap dance. We were detained at a facility in China. Notice how she doesn't specify where in China and at which facility. The tank manages to miss at this range. Gee, no wonder why people thought this game was going through an identity crisis. So far we played Die Hard, Jurassic Park, Gears of War, Twisted Metal, Call of Duty, Ace Combat, Need for Speed. All in one game. It's not a shitty Resident Evil game until we have Chainsaw Charlie present. But your orders were to avoid contact with anyone. Leon's not just anyone. He saved my life back in Raccoon City. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure she already mentioned him earlier. The people who saved me, Leon and Claire, are the closest friends I've ever had. Repetitive level playthroughs, aka deja vu. Is that you? No, it was my fairy godmother. Worst boat ride since the Titanic. Tell that to the people of the Wilhelm Gustloff. More deja vu. Hey, there's our gear. That's a pretty crappy place to hide someone's gear. Scripted action sequences. I can see your father in you. Really? Cause I don't. This quick shot glitch. Also told me where to find it. You know, ah! good thing for you, you didn't kill the captain back there. Otherwise, you'd be dead right now. You can't imagine my delight of having to escort your ass out of here. Jesus Christ, did you ever shut up? Are you trying to piss me off? I don't trust you, and I don't like you. Good for you, asshole. Another Piers and Jake pissing contest. You know what? I'm not my father. And I'm gonna make damn sure that it stays that way. Well, that's not the dumbest thing you've ever said. Ustinek hasn't mutated. Enough of this cat and mouse bullshit. Jerry, we gotta take this fight somewhere else! Jake's double standard. Gee, haven't played through this sort of sequence before. Physics say these two should have flown off the platform at that velocity. Breaking the law of physics again. For the third f***ing time. <laughs> Villain dies before he can perform his final attack cliché. Thank you. Scene does not contain makeout session. An unrevealed European nation? Ha ha. Albert Wesker, you are not. Ah, so I see we're gonna create a Resident Evil Assassin's Creed crossover in the next game. That'll be the death knell in the coffin. Ah ha 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 ha. Oh, I see. You're cute, Capcom. Giving us a teaser to a future Resident Evil that nobody will care about, featuring a character that I am already trying not to hate. Oh, and lastly, the groundbreaking video game series known for establishing the survival horror genre completely ditches the survival horror aspect, which in of itself is worth a hundred sins. We were detained at a facility in China.